In this video, I'll demonstrate simple Bible searching in Sword Searcher, showing you how to find verses with words you're looking for. I'll also show how Sword Searcher helps you find words when you aren't sure how they're spelled. And finally, I'll show how to begin a more advanced Bible search for when you need more control. To do a Bible search, I type the word I'm looking for in the quick Bible search box here. After I type the word and press enter, all of the verses in the Bible containing the word are shown in the search results panel here. You can see the search word highlighted in each verse, and below the results, Sword Searcher shows me how many matches and how many verses were returned in the search. In this case, I can see that the word beginning appears 106 times in the Bible and in 104 verses. Notice that Sword Searcher keeps your search results separate from the main Bible panel. This way, you won't lose your place when you're studying a passage. It's also very easy to see which verses are relevant to your study because the entire verse for each match is shown. Now I'm going to do a search for multiple words. I'm typing Jesus Christ into the quick Bible search box. This tells Sword Searcher to find verses with both words. As you can see here, this includes verses that have both words but not necessarily together. If I want to make sure the words appear together, I need to do a phrase search. To do that, I just put quote marks around the text. This tells Sword Searcher to look for the specific phrase, not just the words. Now you see that only verses with the phrase Jesus Christ are shown. When I hold the mouse pointer over a verse tag in the verse list, I could see a preview of the verse context. Clicking the verse tag sets the Bible panel. I'll start a new search for the word Savior. Notice how I spelled the word. I've used the American spelling S-A-V-I-O-R, but if I'm searching the King James Bible, the word won't be found because the King James uses British spelling. Let's see what happens when I try the search. Sword Searcher informs me the word isn't found, but rather than leave me wondering why I can't find a word I know exists in the Bible, Sword Searcher suggests words it thinks I'm trying to find. As you can see here, the very first suggestion is the word I'm looking for, Savior, spelled in the King James with a U. I can use the mouse or just press Enter again to accept the correction and continue with my search. Notice here that with each new search, Sword Searcher opens the search results on a new tab so I can easily go back and review prior search results. The Quick Bible search box looks deceptively simple. It's actually extremely powerful because it recognizes commands that allow you to fine-tune your search, such as being able to automatically include multiple word forms, wild cards, boolean logic, close matches, or case matching. A complete tutorial on these advanced features can be found in the Sword Searcher manual. The Quick Bible search box is usually all you need to do a Bible search, but sometimes you'll want more control. For example, you may want to limit your search to just the New Testament or a single book of the Bible. For that, we go to the Bible search window. I click the search menu, then select Search Bible. I could also just press F2 or click the Search Bible toolbar button. This is the Search Bible window. Here I have complete control over my search. A complete explanation of these options can be seen in the Sword Searcher manual. Right now, I'll keep it simple and show how to limit my search to the New Testament. I've typed Savior in the text box. To limit my search, I can select one of the options for the search range here. In this example, I'll select New Testament. I could also specify the entire Bible, Old Testament, a single book, or enter a custom range. You see here that the first result is from Luke in the New Testament. I've shown you some of the basics of Bible searching in Sword Searcher. You've seen how easy it is to do a quick Bible search and how to do slightly more complex searches. As the name indicates, Sword Searcher is very versatile in searching and offers much more than I've been able to show you in this short video. 
You'll find detailed descriptions of the many powerful search functions in the Sword Searcher manual and help file, and other videos. Thanks for watching.